So I had um, arthritis in my knees, um, in both knees equally. Um, I eventually decided to go to a consultant, so I was given a knee replacement and they weren't sure which one to do first, so they just picked one. They were both as bad as each other. They picked the right knee and did that, which seemed at first to be really good. And then after about eight months, the knee started to catch when I was flexing it. And it just got worse and worse. And in the end, I could not straighten my leg without manually kind of moving the lower part of my leg. So that, that was, yeah, that was the start of the problem. So obviously it just, it just got worse. Um, I went to see a physio and she wasn't happy with how the operation had been done. Obviously I don't know about that, but she recommended I get a second opinion. So I went to London for the second opinion to the guy she recommended. He recommended me to go to... Um, somewhere out of area to get it re-looked at. So I ended up at Guy's. I ended up under all different sort of situations and people. And I felt like I was just being sent from one place to another. And of course, during that time, my knee is getting less and less mobile. So I wasn't standing properly. I was, certainly wasn't standing up properly because I had to keep moving my knee in an unnatural mm. way. Um, so everything was going a bit you know, weaker on one side, maybe. Four years down the line, let's cut to the chase. I was having a massage with a friend and she recommended you guys. Should she been to see you? I said, oh, I don't know. I said, I'm just fed up with this. I feel as like, so though my next step is going to be a mobility scooter. I just feel that I'm getting worse and worse and I'm less and less mobile. So she said, well, you know, she suggested I gave you a try. So as you know, I came along, um, had an assessment and you thought that you could probably, you said, I think at least, you said keep me off the operating table, maybe not that, but certainly help this knee. So I embarked on a, a course of 12 weeks, I think it was, yeah. with you guys. Um, so where I can demonstrate measurably the improvement, not only in how I feel, but how I know it's a lot better. Um, in July, I went to the Isle of Man with a, a walking group, um, and I was up on the second floor of the guest house. And to get up to my room, if I had a cup of tea or something, I had to kind of put the tea on the steps, pull myself up on the banisters, oh, and then geez. move the tea up the next <laughs> few steps and pull myself up on the banisters because I couldn't get my leg to just do that simple step Stop. movement. Yeah. Twelve weeks on, at the end of September, I went um, with the same group but to a different place, but again found myself on the second floor. And without even thinking, I just walked up the stairs. Oh. I suddenly realised, hey, hang on, I couldn't do this. Cup of tea in each hand. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I wanted. Um, so, I mean, that was, to me, a very measurable improvement yeah. because that wasn't just me feeling better. That was actually different. I could do it. Literally you know? right in front of yeah. your visual. Literally, I knew, oh, I definitely couldn't do this no. 12 weeks ago. So, yeah, I feel a lot better. I feel stronger. I feel I walk better. Um, I was getting some... Say lower back pain, it was like a twinge every so often um, when I was walking, which I don't get that at all now either. So, no, I just feel like I've reversed the, the process. You know, mm. I'm on the, on the way up now, behaving myself and doing my exercises. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or we'll make sure of it. Well, you, you, you kind of took me on and said, right, we'll do this, and we've done it. So, no one else <laughs> never got that far with anyone else. <laughs> They always said, oh, I don't know, maybe we need a second opinion here. So, I never, never got any further with anyone else. Wow. Really, mm. that would be the difference. Yeah. Nice to know <laughs> you that did we the have... job and no yeah. one else did. <laughs> yeah, nice to know that we've taken you further. Mm. What's it like? Um, Careful. <laughs> I'll be good, I? Now I found um, so I've seen three different people. Yes. Um, and I've been here obviously mostly yourself, but I found everyone to be equally good at kind of explaining what I needed to do, what they were going to do. Good fun. Nothing feels kind of pressury. You know, it's it's very. It's all treated very lightly, but you guys obviously know what you're doing because mm. when I come out, I think, oh, yeah, that's better. So, yeah. Mm. The pain is like, yes, that's fine. No, but I feel it's, it's very effective. Anyway, whatever happens, whatever you've been doing is effective to me. Brilliant. Performance. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I just think that, I mean, I've been to, I have been obviously to other, other places, so I've never got, seemed to get very far, but. I feel that all of you here are really accepting. So obviously I'm, I'm an older woman <laughs> and you might be preferring to deal with like young sports injuries and stuff like that. But you are 
very accepting of everybody. So I don't feel I say discriminated against is probably a very strong term, which out of place. you know I don't feel. But yeah, I don't feel out of place yeah. at all. You know, I feel yeah, and I look forward to coming. So I feel very welcome. Yeah. To be honest, I can't remember. I certainly would say within the first couple of weeks I was being benefit. Yeah. yeah. In the first couple of times, I was very conscious to try and put into practice things that you would told me, like you know certain things like keeping like, my feet in a certain angle and like when I was walking to turn one to what felt like turning my foot in, even yes. though it wasn't because obviously yes. it had been going out. So everything, without trying to sound like a complete fangirl, but everything you've said makes sense because I can think, oh yeah, that's why. That's why that does that. Mm. So obviously if you understand a little bit, which you've explained stuff behind the science of how our bodies work, it does make sense. So I think, yeah, I need to do that because yeah. it's obvious now, yeah. sort of embedding it into my, my life really because it's obviously you've explained things. So... I'm taking that into account when I do things now. Yeah, and, like yeah what, where to, have you been able to do that? Um, well, standing up, for example. Yeah. Um, so that was the thing that was very evident to me. I was doing it wrong. I, if I went to a restaurant, I always had to sit on the end of the table because I had to kind of sit my leg out sideways yeah. to get the knee to unflex, and then I'd lean on the table to get myself up. So I was like using obviously all the wrong muscles. Really. But now I think now I can sit where I want at a table and I can just stand up, you know, using my two legs, which is what I should be able to do. Yeah, but in the yeah, right position. Yeah, for yeah, the most absolutely. Part, yeah. But it's just thinking, I think, you know, I have to do, I just need to make sure I'm in the right position to do things. So, mm. yeah, no, I think it's just something that's hopefully going to improve me into my very old age. It's just been a really positive experience. Yeah. Really positive. The whole thing, like you say, like from walking through the door, saying hello to the girls at the desk or yeah. chatting to people, it's just, yeah, it's all been positive. And obviously walking out, I think, yeah, I feel better. I feel mm. stronger, mm. you know. I mean, I was getting to the point, like I said to you, I think the thing that I, when I first came in, I said, I think the next stop's a mobility scooter because I was yeah. just feeling myself diminishing, you know. And I don't feel like that anymore. I mean, you know, I know I'm not that old, but I felt as though I was much older than I am. Yeah. But now I feel, oh, anything's possible, you know. Mm. Book to walking holiday then for next year, so oh, I wouldn't have done that. I mean, there is a, a, a van goes along, oh, not sure. goes alongside you, but you know, comes in backwards and forwards. So I mean, if I do, because I don't know if I'll, I'll have had the other knee replaced by then, I don't know. But I feel just mm. able to tackle it now. So yeah. Well, help your best way yeah. we can wherever we can. Oh. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, I, I would recommend them to come here. Yeah. I really would, you know, because I say I can only. If something's not good, I wouldn't recommend it. But mm. I feel very happy to recommend you guys. Mm. Yeah, very confident because you've helped me. So, and I also think that if you felt you couldn't do something, you would say. I don't think that you're um, people that would claim things that weren't achievable. <laughs> I think it would be a foolish thing to do anyway. But I just don't get that feeling that that's what you would be doing. I think you would say what you could do, not what you couldn't.